Greetings and salutations, you two wanderer. The Lost One Game here, and welcome back to Archeo Shinara and some very classical music. We are back to endeavor on some more explorations with Mr. Frederick Alexander, although actually not with him. He's just paying for it. That's all we're doing. Um, so let's see, what type of finds do we have now? Um, write a letter. Can I not go into... I've kind of forgotten how to do things now. <laughs> the labor market. I've I gotta look through the lobby expeditions. Here we go. So what do we have? We got Into the Unknown. Survival and Exploration would cost us, well, the reward is 4900 Hmm, student loans are very similar to mythological curses, aren't they? How? Explain that one, Mr. Teacup. I'm not exactly sure what you're saying there. There's no explanation to that whatsoever. Is there a second part to that? I wanted to know why you said that. <laughs> it's like you can't just make that statement and then not explain it at all. Anyway. I'm trying to go back, let's see, I want to see what our strength was again, because I mean, we have seven people right now. That one was a, that one was survival, wasn't it? It was survival and exploration. So do we, I mean, mm, survival is not really our strong suit, to be completely honest. Um, exploration is not really our strong suit either, so that's probably not the best one for us to take. We do have some pretty well-rounded guy, or mostly are starting to get more well-rounded at this point. Um, but I don't think we're going to take that one. Search of Wisdom, this is a history one. We'll get 3000 for that. Considering five explorers, my guys cost like two or $300 a piece, so I won't be making much off of that if we do take it. I think we have a couple. Um, let me go back through here again. History, 20, 18, 26, 17, 22. Not really worth taking, is it? No. We might have to take that survival one. I think that's probably our best shot, it seems like, because the other ones don't... I'm not really liking the, um... This is a, a main survival one, so it's only survival. It's six explorers required, that we have seven. Um, so search of... not that one. It was... so either into the unknown, which is survival and exploration, or straight up into the jungle. Which one do we get more money for if we fail? This one. Hmm... I'm worried, but... I guess I'm gonna try this one, um, just because it's it's kind of the I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Survival and exploration. So we'll see what I got. Dang it! I gotta go through and look through people again because I can't remember who I've got. <laughs> survival and exploration. Twenty nine. Let's see. Who's my best survivalist? Is it Thomas Jefferson? I'm not, God dang it! I didn't mean to add him. Get the frick out. <laughs> Get out, Thomas. Yeah, Thomas can go. He's he's pretty good in both actually. That's that's what we got him for. So he's he's staying. What else do we have that we can possibly send? Survival and Exploration, 2320. I guess I'll send Henry because he's good in Exploration. We will send Carl's decent in Survival. We'll send Carl. Um, William, hmm, Oscar, and also, don't really, hmm, I'm going to have to send most of these guys anyway. I guess I'll send William more so. Maybe we'll do Oscar, actually. He's more well-rounded than... We won't, we'll, we'll leave um, this guy. I, I just added him in there, but I want to get him out of there. We'll, we'll leave him behind because he's kind of the least. Um, these guys at least have like 20s in both. He's kind of uh, lacking a little bit. So we'll go ahead and begin this one. Oh, I don't know how many um, different little things that we need to find through here. Well, probably actually five more than likely. Um, or maybe two or three actually. It might be a couple, two of the. Yeah, see, there's an exploration one here. So we've got, let's see, I want to do, we'll send, I'll send Oscar, and I'll send, yeah, I'll send it William. Let's see if we can make that one, that's a failure. Alright, never mind then, I thought maybe this would be one of the easier ones, I guess I was wrong. I didn't want to send my best there, because I didn't really know how it was going to turn out. Um, this is a survival and exploration one, so I'll just go ahead and send Thomas and Henry. All right, this one should be a success. Yes, it is indeed. We've got, I think, one more, of course, because we only have one more explorer, so hopefully this one goes better and we can get an accomplished mission. If not, then everything has failed. This is an exploration one. I'm just going to have to send him anyway. Unforgettable failure. All right, so that was a failed expedition. I don't think we're going to find anything either, so... Oh, frick. Well, I got 900 for that. I don't remember how much I spent. Um, I guess I'm about to find out now. Um, so I'm going to have to pay the salaries, even though they didn't freaking do anything. Uh, someone bought land for 1400 I haven't bought land since I, um, bought that one property earlier. We had 606 Oh, I forgot we were getting money from our casinos. That's right. I can fund myself for a little bit. So with that, combined with the recompense, we might not actually be, um, that short, um, all things considered. So I will definitely take that. 
Okay, I got nine. Yeah, I got nine hundred for the last expedition. And how much did we spend? Nineteen hundred. So, a little bit short. A little bit short. But I'll go ahead and pay it because I don't want them to strike on me. So, fear the Casca Cluth. Casca Cluth. I think I said Saka. Saska. I I can't pronounce it. Forget about it. <laughs> um, sadly, Carl Von Muller had an accident. He found a strange statuette and was getting weaker until he blackened out. After a while, Carl Von Muller uh, regained consciousness, but a bizarre change occurred within him. Uh, Carl claims that his name is Cuss, whatever, and he starts to develop aggressive behavior and is obsessively interested in the eyeballs of other expedition members. You need to react as soon as possible. It's funny, let this pass. Hit him in the head. I'm gonna smack him in the freaking head. I lost $200 for that. Really? That's what happens if I smack him in the head? I, I, get, I, have to, uh, I guess I have to pay him workers' comp because I hit him in the head. <laughs> I, I'm surprised he didn't quit after that. So we're, uh, we're five rounds in. I want to look at the rankings, actually, see where I stand. I'm number one, actually, somehow. Don't know how. Has everybody else just, just been failing? Reputation. I have a reputation of six. So me and him are actually tied. Madam Vanessa is not even focused on doing freaking anything. Her reputation is a three. This guy, General Joseph Ratlin Nabel, um, is reputation of two, so he's not been doing too well either. Um, hmm, revenues and time. All right, anyway, back to the expeditions. Let's see what we've got this time. We've got the way of life, archaeology, and linguistics. Mm, we've got an archaeology one straight up only, and then we've got a linguistics and exploration one. I want to see if I can train some of my guys um, real quick. If there's anybody that I can really get up a little bit higher, learn. What can I train him in? Linguistics? What's he at now? 15? Hmm, linguistics? Hmm, Carl... I don't know what I want to train you in, to be honest. Maybe I should train you in exploration. Do we have a linguistics major, pretty much, at all? I don't think we do. This guy is 22. Thomas is a 15. Um, William is the best in linguistics, so... Um, I guess I'll go ahead and train him in linguistics. Uh, that's going to cost me $250 for that. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it. I think I'm going to take that one. I might be make, making a big mistake by doing that, but I'm going to take the one where the linguist... Well, or should I take the archaeology one, since it's mainly just archaeology? We got, we got a couple of decent archaeologers. Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. There's nobody really... No, definitely not taking that one. Never mind. Um, See, so yeah, I think we're going to take... It was this one. The After the Guide. So the recompense is 900. We're going to have to take six explorers with us. This one, archaeology... We're better at exploration, so we'll do this one instead. All right, so we will take definitely gotta take Thomas Jefferson for his um for his survival and exploration skills. Um, we're gonna take I definitely gotta take um Willem or William, I'm sorry. Um, I've got to take Carl can be useful for survival, but well, that's actually that's not the point. I don't hmm. I want to take pretty much everybody anyway though. So Henry is good for exploration. Um, Oscar, I did just train, um, Carl in linguistics, so he's going to be a little bit better. Um, and let's see, Edward, linguistics is a 22, linguistics is a 15, survival, 13, I'm going to take Oscar. I don't know if we took, I was going to say, I don't know if we took Oscar for the last one, did we? Do I only have, I guess I have to take everybody, I forgot, I only have, I have seven people, but in terms of, um, I have one that runs the, uh, casino, so I can't. I gotta take this guy too. Okay. Let us begin, shall we? Hopefully this expedition will go a little bit better than the last one. See, this is where I start to fail horribly. Um, so this is an exploration one. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that we can do really well right off the bat. So I'm gonna send Thomas, um, and I'm gonna send Henry. All right, so this one should go over well. It did, all right, so that was a success. All right, so I think we should have maybe two more of these. All right, there's some linguistics one, so we're definitely sending William. This one should be a success as well. Definitely. All right, so there we go. We've got three, two, two guys left? Is it two or three? Um, we've got an exploration one, so we, yeah, we got three guys left. Carl, Oscar, who's our best exp exp explorer? Um, 23. It's going to have to be Edward, even though I would prefer not to send him, but that was a success too. We're going to actually make some money out of this freaking crap. Thank goodness, because we've already got the majority of them. All right, so this is an exploration one again. Oscar is the better of the two, so we're going to send him. All right, that's a failure. All right, never mind. Everything was going smoothly until we fr sick, uh, freaking sent Oscar. It's all Oscar's fault. This is, we're going to have to send Carl. Don't have a choice. That was a success, too. So we only failed one mission. That wasn't too bad. 
Um, so I'm okay with that. We got 5,000 out of this, didn't we? Expedition success, 5,500. We got two reputation points for that. All right, so I will take that one indeed. That was pretty good. How much do we have to pay for that, by the way? Hero of the day, that last... Oh, Oscar was the hero. That last expedition, quite a ride, am I right? Wait, Oscar... Didn't Oscar fail? Oscar was the one that failed. I don't think I consider him a hero, but okay. Um, last expedition, quite a ride, am I right? But behind your last success lies not so ple lies not so pleasant true. All right, you were saved by Oscar Muscarella's immune inhumane effort. The rest of the team agrees that it would be impossible to achieve the goal if he wasn't there. The one failure somehow is the hero of the day. I don't understand. Um, could I? What would happen if I bought him a gift? How much am I spending on this gift? Oh, 39. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a really expensive gift. Apparently not. Sir, jo Sir George Charles Lennox brought Deadman's Cliff for 1700 I'm going to have to get back into the um, investment market in a minute. All right, so we had to spend 2000 on that um, for our explorers, but we should be getting 5000 I got 46 for my casino. What the frick? What happened this time around? What the frick happened? We got 600 last time. I'm disappointed in you, whoever I have running that. I don't know what you've been doing. What happened? Property management is it because other people are around us. Is that why? That might be why, actually. I'm going to have to, um, yeah, I'm going to jump back in here. I kind of forgot how to do it now, though. There we go. Um, so this one. Ch uh, Chindu Valley. Land selling price is 887. We're going to go ahead and try and invest like a thousand. It may not be enough. Um, who knows? I'm going to get it anyway, though. So we're going to bid. Can I, wait a minute. Can I do upgrades to the one that I have? I can unassign. I don't think I can upgrade it. No. Um, I can sell it. How much would I get if I sold it? I don't think I want to sell it. Um, I'll just go ahead and invest in the next uh, property that we get over here in Ching Chengdu Valley. All right, I'll go ahead and invest a thousand. We'll do a thousand one hundred. We'll bid that because I got some money to blow now, a little bit more so than I had before. Um, write a letter, an offensive letter. Have we done the things, um, the stories yet? I'm, I can't remember that. Um, I don't know if I've ever to the press. Yeah. Do we ever level of interest unconcerned, uncommitted? No one cares about us at all. Use your favors, give an exclusive license. Um, anybody that actually cares about us? Could we do... Did we do the age? I want to see if we give an exclusive license. Alright, so they were interested, so they gave us some favors. Alright, so we now have someone who's willing to come with us, I guess, and learn about our explorations. Alright. Speaking of expeditions now, are you a fan of Rubik's Cubes? Try to solve the Roman... I don't know what the frick that is. I'm not going to even try. This was a tribal diplomacy one. This is not going to... That's not worth my money. Um, it's probably going to get me a lot more... Let's see. I was going to say it might give me more reputation or something, but... This is, a, this is a survival one. And then this one is... That's the tribal diplomacy one. There's two tribal diplom... I'm not taking either one of those. I don't want to do those. Um, so we'll take the Into the Jungle one. Welcome to the Jungle. We've got fun and games. All right, so we're definitely going to take Thomas Jefferson because he's our best. Well, yeah, pretty much. Uh, so we'll take him. Uh, we will take, let's see, I'm going to have to take pretty much everybody. Um, we'll take Carl. Carl's kind of falling off now a little bit now. Um, we'll take, like I said, i got to pretty much take everybody um, for the most part. We'll take Oscar since he was the hero, quote unquote, of the last mission. Um, I guess I'll have to take, probably going to have to take Henry. I'll take William. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have to take, we we'll have to take Henry. He's slightly better. I need to start training some more of my guys, though, to be completely honest. I wish I could kind of pick this specific one I wanted to train them in, not just be offered like three different options and then that's it. But let's go ahead and begin this and hopefully we can do well. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice, I think, Thomas at the very beginning so I can at least have some success. Um, at some point, so we'll go ahead and send. So maybe we won't send. Mm, I'm sending Thomas. All right, he's the only one that I trust in to go alone. Everyone else, I need pairs. <laughs> he's the only one I trust to go by himself. Well, I guess we have to send somebody, somebody else by themselves. Oscar, you were the hero of last mission, so I'm sending you. I'll keep Carl around for the next one. It was a failure. Okay. That doesn't help me at all right now. Didn't really need that at all. Are there going to be any two ones? I guess not. Seems like this one. Ruthless success. We found a, Gre a Greek theater mask. Uh, it's not worth much. Wasn't really worth finding, to be honest. But, I mean, hey, I guess we had it. 
for the time. Um, we're gonna have to send William. This is probably gonna be a failure. It was a success, never mind. Did we get the majority of these now? That's the third out of five, right? So I think we're good. Um, so we're sending Henry. Um, this is probably, yep, that's a failure too, but I think that's an overall success because we got three out of five, right? Am I right? I am right indeed. So 4,100. We got the mask, which isn't going to be worth much to us at all, really, but I mean, I guess it's something. All right. So, oh, I got the land. I got the land. 1,100. All right. Cool. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I may have overbid for it, but it is what it is. At 4,100, um, <clears throat> 4,100, um, and three points of reputation. Reputation is going to be improving mightily. Um, in the past few days, Henry Frankfurt has had some bad dreams about crows. I thought I said cows for a second. Um, and some bad thoughts about life, and was almost killed in an accident twice. <laughs> and there's a myth that crows are messengers from the hate from the Hades? Not Hades himself? Anyway, yes, Henry Frankfurt knows this myth, and recently there are more crows than there used to be. Have you already heard any calling? Maybe you should do something about it. I'm gonna shoot all the goddamn crows. I'm gonna shoot every last one of them. Oh, okay, I spent $150 to shoot all the crows. Alright. We're doing pretty well, I think, all things. We're, we're losing... Your casinos have generated a loss of 13 uh, due to low population density or high urbanization in lands. This income can al also can be affected by the manager's skills or by too many casinos in the region. So it might not be worth it for me to keep this casino around, to be completely honest. Um, so the casinos, it seems like, hold on. This, Chengdu Valley, can I change what I have on the land? Yeah, I can. I can demolish it. The population density is 25. I'm trying to see what factors into what's going to be more successful. Negative features, the urbanization, which is a 7. Um, hmm. I'm trying to see. Manager survival is going to play into this. Survival 12. He's not really that good. Maybe we might have to put Thomas over control of the casino. I'm not exactly sure. Manager's combat capability. Thomas would be really good for this, wouldn't he, though? But I don't want to get rid of him. I mean, I've enjoyed having him around. I mean, I guess I could go back to the labor market and see who we can find. There's this guy. What's he good at? Exploration. Theodore Ranich. Uh, and we have Heather Lechman, who's good in survival and exploration, or at least is decent in uh, survival. I'm going to miss Thomas if I put him... I'm going to try it, and if it doesn't, hap if it doesn't work out, um, I'm just going to demolish the place and build something else. Um, so... Population density, comparatively, is it better than... Maybe the maybe it would be better here. Population density is higher there. The urbanization is really high as well. Um, building property. Let's see. I want to... How much did I spend on that casino last time? 725. That's not too bad. It gained 601 turn one time. There's a cruise steamboat. Um, 1600 there. It's a cruise steamboat. Let's see. Positive features... Manager's exploration, manager's linguistics, negative features, um, urbanization, and population density. All right. Um, which, what, what is this guy good at again? I just looked at him and I can't even remember what it was already. <laughs> he was managing. Let's see. Hmm. I don't think he'd be a good fit for that really either. Um. I'm going to dem. I'm going to demolish this this casino. Um. Well, do you really want to it'll take one round? I'm trying to see if it would be better for me to put it um if I if it would be better for me to put the casino here. Or should I try and put like a hotel here? Population density. We'll put a hotel there, actually. We'll, we'll just try that out for a second. Alright. I'm gonna have to assign a manager to this though. So I'm gonna I'm gonna unassign this one. Alright. Uh yes. Take one turn for the, to fulfill the paperwork. So we'll switch him over there. We might just completely demolish that place, I don't know, and sell the land, or try and find something else better to put there. Um, but let's see, in terms of expeditions, this turn we've got Beyond the World. That's an exploration only one, which we're going to need six people for. Um, we've got a tribal diplomacy one, which is linguistics, and we've got an archaeology one, which I suck, my guys suck in archaeology. Um, I'm thinking this guy was, he was good in exploration, so that last one I just saw was exploration, right? I want to take that one instead, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hire that guy. All right, we're gonna bring him aboard for exploration purposes. All right, and we can go back here, and I will do that exploration mission because it's also the most valuable one, not that one actually. 
This one, 8,700. We're going to get four points of reputation if we do this. So this is probably a harder one, actually, as well. So i got to keep that in mind. Um, but still, I'm doing it anyway. Uh, so we're going to take... Let's see, we definitely got to take Thomas. We definitely got to take um, this guy as well. Um, who else do we need to take? Exploration, exploration, exploration. We're taking, we're taking Henry. Um, we're going to take pretty... Like I said, we're going to take pretty much everybody anyway. But we'll take Edward... Who's the guy, the odd man out, that I don't want to take on this mission? 21. Probably Carl. Carl's probably going to be the odd man out. So we'll, we'll leave, we'll take everybody except for Carl, because he's the lowest. All right. Let us begin this expedition. Let us begin. I don't know how this is going to start out in the very beginning, but um, how are we looking? We got one person. I'm going to send Thomas at the beginning. All right, that was a failure. Never mind. Maybe I shouldn't have sent Thomas. Or maybe I should have sent my other guy that was uh, really good in it. Never mind. I may have failed this. Wait, why is there a geology one? I didn't know I was going to have to do geology on this. No one told me about this. I forgot Edward was good in freaking archaeology. I forgot I had him for that. Geology, geology. Um, Henry. I'm sending Henry. Henry, please. Unforgettable failure. Never mind. Goodness gracious. I had to keep paying more attention to my guys. I, I keep losing track. So we'll send um, Theodore. And we'll send, let's see, who's our next best? Exploration William, I guess. I mean, or Edward. All right. That was a success. That's our only one so far. So one for three. And I think we're probably going to have like one or two more. That's another one. All right, so we're going to have to send William, which this is probably going to be a failure. Yes, it was. So this expedition has failed miserably. I'm going to lose money for this. This is not going to be fun at all. Geology and exploration. Just go ahead and take my money. Just take my money. I, I don't know what to do with that one. I figured that one was going to be a little bit tougher, but it was kind of the only one I had a real shot at. Like I said, I could have done the archaeology one, though, in hindsight, because I didn't know I really had him there. Um, we're going to pay 2000 for that. Oh, that sucks. Um, we got 600 from our casinos, though, so that's actually paying out a little bit. So we're not in too bad of shape. At three hundred um three hundred dollars for that as well, so we're not too far off from where we were. Um, Oscar, what? Hero of the day? Is he the hero again? Buy the fake artifact and deal with it quietly. Um, save the expedition from a failure. And do you remember how you bought him the gift? You've been visited by one of the green uh these greenhorn collectors who asks you if the crystal skull is real or not. This person tells you that some gla um some glazier vouches for its authentic authenticity. According to your visitor, um. I'm gonna sue the crook. Oh, I lost reputation for that. Never mind. That probably wasn't the best idea. I should have dealt with it quietly. Anyway, um, back to the rankings. I want to see. So we're still number one with a re uh, reputation of ten. Um, the next best person is at an eight. That uh, Madam Vanessa, who's at a six, and General Joseph, who's at a five. So we're still leading for the time being. Um, so that's we're looking pretty good there. At least I'm not in danger of going bankrupt yet. So, <laughs> but I'm gonna end it here, guys. And I will see you in the next one.